What's up, people? You're locked into the two, 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 two pro one slow podcast. I'd like a cup of tea. We got no tea. We need a waitress or something in here if we're sitting for like an hour. Hi. Hey. Oh, lovely. Can I start, Bill? Are you still fucking about? Right, let's start. Do you just start? I'll, I'll join in once my vlog's live. Right then, welcome back to... Do we not have an intro? No, I don't know the intro again, Bill. We're out of practice. Because you don't have a sponsor still. Still don't have a sponsor. Redline sponsored one of them, last one, I think. I've got a couple of people that have wanted to do sponsors. Well, we need sponsors because we're now in the red because we're in a studio. Yeah. We're in a new studio, which, which is... Uh, Expensive. Comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> it is comfortable. It's like it's actually we're gonna name it Billy's Shrine because it's it, everything of Billy's is in it. Billy's yeah, worldly possessions. You've got one more um bike to add on so we can get rid of that old red piece of scrap out the end of the end of the line. Now I've got my bike to bring in. The British Championship. Yeah, I've got a British one. So yeah, if you're if you're listening to this and not watching on YouTube, which you should be, we've changed locations. We've got some nice new sofas, we're comfortable. Well, I've got a coffee table that's coming, but it's not here yet. It stands mat there on the floor. I'm not sure if you can see that. 20 quid you can buy them for. Yeah, no, they're not 20. <laughs> I got mine for 20. Yeah, that's me, sweet. Oh, was tell. it? 40 quid. Yeah, mat, for, so. I think they're 45, actually. Fuck, isn't it? You've just, you've it's just a good quality mat. Talked in his profit there. Just knocked him for 20. Yeah, I thought I needed foot rest. If we're going to be doing long ones, I puffy. think. I tell you what, the whole yeah. reason we're in this uh, situation is because he's Tommy's so demanding. He's demanded I go chairs go from the last one. Back. It's just not comfortable doing podcasts and not going to talk. Anymore. Believe it or not, it's six thirty at night. It'll soon be seven o'clock, and that's the, normally the hour when you start moaning. But oh, I've had ten and a half hours sleep today. I just told you that. Yeah, well, hopefully you're comfortable now in your new seat, and and you'll be ready to go. Yeah, no, I'm I'm happy. We raced Rayador last night. So, um, you just can talk about that while I do this. Then, yeah, we raced Rayador last night, so we didn't get back till um, Ed decided he wanted to come as well. Which did you was, decide was a pleasant that? Surprise. No, did yeah. you I decide said, that? No, no I tell you, I tell you what happened. <laughs> I never asked you to come. You just went. What time are we leaving? I said, Are oh, you coming? And you went. The yeah, whole, as well. the whole thing was actually organised by me. Believe it or not. Yeah, you got my start money sorted. You yeah. Have you cut, have you cut him? Was he I negotiated. No, I negotiated everything. Anyway. Then I drove to his house to get in the camper with him. We got 20 minutes down the M42 and he pulls into the services. Didn't even pull into the services, pulls onto the slip road near the services. Goes, do you fancy driving for a minute? I'm going to have a nap. <laughs> I'll only be half an hour. I was like, yeah, righto. Get in the van. Literally, just before we carry on down the road, I said, give me a credit card because it was on the M6 toll. Or the M6 toll was coming up. And then uh, I said to him, uh, half an hour, so I was Drive in an hour, an hour goes by, still not awake. Two hours goes by. Goes no, up. not two, hour two, and a half. No. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we got all the way to the windy bits, and then he said at the last minute, do you want me to drive the last 19 miles? I said, no, don't worry about it. That was good, though. You've done a good job. And then we had a nice evening. Rayador was mega. So um, would say, recommend. Just say it again. Rayador? Is that Rider? It? How do you, no, you Raydor? pronounced it four times last night differently. You got Rayador, Rayador, Rider. Rayador. Realistically, none of us are going to get the correct Welsh pronunciation. No, <laughs> no but um, very, very impressed with the, how they put on the event. Um, yeah, really good. A lot of fans come out because it was an evening race. I think a lot of people come after work because they just started flocking in about six o'clock. Um, I think it helped that it's the Jubilee weekend now. Uh, working on a Jubilee weekend, we are doing this. But, Happy um, birthday, Liz. Lizzie, yeah. Today. Today. Is it today? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't remember Bob, but that he is a nonce. What, are we going to leave that in? Yeah. <laughs> of course you've got to leave him in. He's a nonce. <laughs> yeah, now. Well, she's so getting we'll get older demonetized now, so for that, do you reckon? Nah. nah, YouTube's American, isn't it? So they don't care. Nah, she's getting older, so soon we'll have Boris as king, won't we? He's next up. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid twat. <laughs> what do you mean? That was quite funny to be fair. Come on, tell it. C- carry on about your race, then we'll go back in time because um, it's been a while. It's been long anyway. I still have No, it. so we just raced it. It went on. We had little practice, I think four lap practice, three 12 lap race. There was going to be a Super Bowl, but it got dark, a couple of accidents out of their control, obviously. Um, and then it got a little bit too dark, so they decided not to race the final Dash for Cash. Um, but it was a good, really well run race, a really well run race. Don't know why I can't say that, but. Um, they had music, lots of little trade stands, coffee stands. It was just nice, like a little fate vibe in there. But um, I had a blueberry muffin and a cup of tea at about seven o'clock. It really cheered me up. Yeah, 
No, I had a coffee at the end of the day to get me through the drive because they'd just sat in the passenger seat and refused to drive. So <laughs> all in all, good day. I got bad starts, so the results wasn't great. It was hard to pass. Now, to um, that's, a, that's a valid point. Talk, talk to us about your start because... That was a dirt start, which you probably haven't done for five years. No, I don't think it was so much the dirt start, because I used to be good at dirt starts. What it was is, first race, you pick pegs. Um, How many goes at picking a peg did you have? A lot. I was picking a peg, mate. You held the bag open for me, but I got down there that late that the best I could get was peg 15. Um, Can you not bid for someone with a lower one? Carrot, no, carrot had number one. Carrot had number one. That's a bit unfair. Sterry had number two somehow. It just seemed a bit odd. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then... Um, Anyway, I was gate 15, and there seemed to be like three good gates. Um, but then because I got a bad start in that race, then my next gate picks were bad. So it sort of set me off for a bad uh, bad starts. But other than that, it was good. Track was track was really fun, just like um You've missed, like a, you missed a key moment about your starts. What? You made my whole evening worthwhile <laughs> being there with you. The start went round a long left, and it was like, the, it was cool how the start was. It sat below the main left-hand corner, and I was on the outside because I had 15th gate pick and it was a bit drier on there. So I thought I may as well go very, very outside. And then um, there was just tapes on the side of the track. So I went up, drifted wide and then jumped over the tape because the bank had a little bit of a raise on it. Over the tape, into the main bit of track, gained a bit of paces, a few places when you dropped into the corner and Ed found it hilarious. Oh, I it thought just, it was so mean. The tape just went ping. No, I jumped it the first. Someone else then followed me through. Yeah, I didn't no, actually but break then in every the race after that, you smashed straight through it. <coughs> yeah, a few other riders. You did ran as well wide the through the tape every lap, every race, every start. No, the one start where it got red flagged, I didn't, and I got a good start. I was mm. third. Um, I was stood behind the start on the on the last uh, starts, and everyone was tutting in the end. Yeah, that. But I think I was tutting because again. everyone started doing it. Well, I thought because the gate dropped on zero seconds when the 15 second board was going up, there was sort of no rules. So I just thought, <laughs> we might I as actually well. watched that. It was that there back. for a bit of fun. It was all fun race. So I um, obviously at British Championship, I wouldn't do it as as much. I'd have probably only done it one race out of the two. I haven't edited the video yet, but I've watched, I did watch it back when I put it on the computer. Literally, as the five second board goes up, all your heads go from looking. And as you look down, the gate drop. Yeah. <laughs> Mate even come over and he says, We dropped the gate quick here, but I just couldn't. I couldn't make myself. But he told you that. Yeah, because I said, what is it? What is the deal here? Like, is it five seconds hold? Is it one second hold? And he was like, I think we drop them quite fast. And I was like, all right then. But I couldn't process it to look down and hold the bike on when the 15 second board was still up. I was just like, no, nah, this is too odd. I've got to wait for the board to turn. <laughs> and then even in the last race, I still couldn't look at the board, look at the gate at 15 seconds and hold it flat out. Um, but... Yeah, the the the, was, the race was mega. Um, I think I went four four three, so not great. But I don't think I made a pass all day. I don't think anyone made a pass all day. Um, but how long were the races? That, Twelve minutes. Well, decent enough then. Yeah, yeah. you'd have enjoyed it, I reckon. <coughs> you would have enjoyed no, it. I don't have a motocross bike because I keep. I do have one now, but it's in Italy at this moment. There's so. a triple you would have liked. Just in flat. Yeah, out. the triple was not. The track rode really, really well. It was just how the soil was. It was like shaly. Um, Slate, it was so the roost hurt so bad it, oh, you weren't right. able to um you weren't able to follow and then like make a pass sort of thing. Mm. You may you might have sat in it, but I mm, sort of I contemplated. Don't like, I don't like roost. Don't no, As uh, when it was Wednesday evening at about half nine, and I'm getting pelted with rocks, knocking my teeth out. As vulgar and as <coughs> brute as I am, I really, really, I do not like roost. Really? Rocks, but yeah, like it seemed like I feel like. It would fit my personality yeah. to be able to I just, sit, just in sit in it. In no, it. no, it hurts a lot. I remember um, Red Bull Knockout, the first race. Uh, and the beat? Yeah, because it's like... Um, you know, it's bits of sh- No, it's like shells, all no. that shit. Because I've done Western, and it's like, Western's bad if you follow someone really closely because the water hurts, but it's fine. Like, you can go behind someone's wheel and it hurts. But uh, Red Bull Knockout, oh, my God. I came on to the start straight in about 10th and I left the start straight after being flat out for it for about a mile in about 30th. I just had to keep shutting off. Well, you I've never it, felt like such a pussy in my whole life. It's bad. I just, it was only the qualifying race. So I was like, I got another one of these. I finished the first race and first thing I did when I pulled into the pitch, was like, I need a chest protector. I, I cannot go out there again like this. That's bad. Anyway, that's a bit off topic, but I've posted my video. So I mean, ah, I've just, you're back in the game. Yeah, I've just, uh, 
Well, why don't we pick up? I with, can attend with this. You then, I think Paul Carrot broke his hand from a stone yesterday. I had said on, on the phone like this morning, off the start. I did just text him and see how he is, but he don't, he's not very good at replying. <laughs> I, I asked him and he, he said it was feeling all right, but didn't look swollen or anything. But you've asked him today? No, last night I sat with him after the ring, yeah. after the race. What are you doing? Counting your money? You're not being able to count that by yourself. Um, no, I didn't get any money to go. It was something I've always wanted to do is go down to Wales and race around there. So it was um, <laughs> just another thing I do, give back a little bit because <laughs> a lot of people would message from Wales asking if I was coming to do the race and I thought, you know what, fuck it. It's a good job Ed went with you actually because if you'd have got caught with more than 10 grand cash <laughs> by yourself, you'd have been in big <laughs> trouble. <laughs> to split it out. So it's a good job you had two people in the vehicle. I'd have had to took 10 grand with me to bring 10 grand back. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't yeah. you um, why don't you reel off what's behind us, Billy? Because it's, it's, there is like a shrine to you. Yeah, uh, we've got. No, it's in chronological order for me as well. If, obviously, if you are watching, thanks for watching. Uh, you won't be able to see that closely, but we have 2018. No, it's, no, I'm, that this is incorrect. There's, there's another one to go there. 2018 is the one that's missing. I'm getting a bit confused. 2018 is missing. Here is 2020 Super Enduro. Then 2021 Hard Enduro, then 2022, the most recent one, uh, uh, Super Enduro. All actual bikes that I raced on, um, I do believe. No, these, these two these two are rolled off the track as yeah, they finished. Well, the, 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 yeah, well, I made a point of that because the first year when I won in 2018, it was the bike basically got stripped down and we had to go and find all the parts and the parts have been spread out between Italy and Austria, but I think... Um, this one and my 2018 is just about all original, but after that we said, oh, I want, like, at the last round when you do get the job done, I make a point, like, I want this one how it is now. Yeah, yeah that, this one has got the burnt out tyres The burnt out tyres on, yeah. That, this one actually oh, has as well, but uh, this, um, it's all come back to as well, I was looking at it just then, the last time I raced this bike wasn't meant to be the final round of the championship, was it? That was, this, No, this oh, first this one, one yeah, that was... This was from when COVID arrived, so because it's got a burned out tire on, but I thought it's a pretty pathetic attempt of a burned out tire. But then I realised it was from the second last round of the championship, not the last round. So I was obviously you done a burnout. You done a burnout at the second to last round. Yeah, did a win. I suppose. Yeah. Uh, not a big one because there's still a load of nobles left on the tire. Which um, we have to use our tires. To yeah, I don't two goes. Oh uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, nah, it's more than Musa. I don't, I get, I don't like doing burnouts for because it gets really hot and really big. But for Super Enduro, it's not so bad to be fair. That uh, that's about it, really. And then we've got Tommy's old tractor on the end. That's coming Need to out. Take so. that out again. Yeah, that's coming out. I so. thought you're getting a new bike for the actual race, aren't mm. you? No, you've got you got Wob Trace VMX DN. We've not. We've, we're supposed to be going next week to. To, to see, see Wob. Wob. That's coming along quite nicely, actually, apparently. So Wob says he reckons what? he's ready for another go at a um, little video up there. Like an update one. He likes getting video. himself in a video, Wob, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he likes a video. <laughs> he started a YouTube channel. You Does he? Yeah. yeah. To be fair, I can imagine that would have a big audience. To be, He does good things, doesn't tinkering he? Tinkering in his workshop and... No, so, yeah, so I'm going to get another one for that race. 2002, 252-stroke, car or replica. I was about to say that was Carmichael on Honda then, mm. wasn't it? That'd be a nice bike, that will. Mitch is that Pe when he had Woody Woodpecker on the Woody side? Woody Woodpecker graphics. Hey, look, at Billy the Charles Rider yeah, knows no, all of that. What hey. colour rims did he have? Gold. Mm, uh, no, silver. I wouldn't have said gold. <coughs> silver, sorry. Um, silver, Bill. It was silver then, but I knew it wasn't gold, didn't anyway. Silver, yeah, you're right. I thought it was gold for some reason, but the Mitch Payton's got my engine now. Has he? Yeah, we've gone real silver. Fuck you, yeah, hell. You so better pull yeah. your finger out. Sent the engine out. That's a big job for, for an old. Yeah. Oh, it's at Foxhills this year. They're not just racing around the field that farly, but no. at least to, uh, you, you should, need um, some power to get up the hill. You better perform as well, not like you did last night. No, I'm going to perform at Farley. That said, said you were useless last night to me. No, I this is what he done in one of the races. I know we're going backwards and forwards here. He he got a start in the last race and got third or what? Someone was take third. me the video. It's fucking brilliant. You and then all it. of a sudden he stopped. He like rolled back a couple of seconds, like dropped. Three, four seconds, I'm like, oh, someone's wrong with the bike. Like, why would that happen? Sterry pulled away. And then within the same lap, he was back on Sterry's back wheel. I'm thinking, what's he doing here? And then he did it again. Because I was just trying to set the fastest lap of the race. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I did because I was just like, well, at least you've done something good. But I can, if I went fast, I'd catch the back of someone, but I couldn't pass them. So then I just thought I had to slow the pack up. I'd done it in like a slow section where no one could pass me. So I just jammed everyone up and then went bam, back onto the back of the next bloke. Some of, they all thought my bike had broke. <clears throat> Daft. Talk us funny through your, um, your, your start of the season, Bill, then. I think the last, I don't even know the last time you've done podcast. Israel. No, you haven't, because we said there was a lot to talk about in uh, Israel. Uh, there was a terrorist shoot in the day before you were due to fly there. And then there's loads. If you look on Israel on yours, it's not a place you'd want to head to in a rush anyway. I'm <laughs> remind you of a text message that you sent me about Skinner when they were marking the track the night before. Uh, mm, the Israel was a good one. There was so much info. He so said he popped his, head, me. popped his head over a brow of a hill and they're all shooting. Uh, that was while he was marking the track. He, <laughs> he, he arrived to a military training field and they're literally just pepper in the side of the hill he stood on top on with machine guns. Um, so, yeah, it's been... Had, so Super Endo had finished, obviously. So I did have... Oh, I had a bad wrist because I fell over holding Tommy's shirt up and hurt my wrist even more. Mm. Yes. The merch. I was holding oh, Tommy's merch up. Was that, ages uh, trip. that was the last podcast, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we did one with Jeff Parrott. Did we not do one with Stan without him? Or am I imagining this? No, I think we did. So that was after Israel. Was that? Uh, I can't remember. Anyway, uh, I've had a bad wrist. I still do have a bad wrist. It's not. It's, it's Is it getting better? <sighs> not as better as I would like, but it's kind of messed every, like not messed everything up, but. When I, I've, I've, the championship on paper is actually going away. I'm joint leader with Graham at this moment in time. Um, but when I think to how um, little kind of riding and prep and stuff I have had beforehand um, and stuff like that, I, I think I've yeah winged it pretty well. Obviously, Serbia was the last race, um, which I struggled quite badly. And specifically, the second day, I kind of just expired. Um Run out of energy, just you know, started f- falling asleep mid race, which isn't the one really. Um, so that wasn't ideal, but somehow only dropped down t- to fourth overall. I managed to finish fourth overall for the whole week. I had quite a good day last day, I was second on the last day. Um, but apart from the actual races I've done so far this year, I've probably only rode and trained uh, on my two stroke like five, six times. Um, so I'm just, yeah, kind of massively behind being kind of covering it up quite well at races and because i think i've been doing uh, well i def- definitely obviously israel still went not too bad um and i did the british championship round at cow which i won so results wise it actually all looked as everything was under control but i was definitely uh majorly behind on on how i felt like physically and even just kind of being in sync with the bike um so i been back in england a couple of days and i've i've rode today and yesterday and um just being kind of in my familiar places and getting used to riding and just putting time on the bike. Um, my wrist still isn't perfect, but just yeah, actually riding and, and spending time on my bike, I feel a lot, lot better already. Is though, it so. painful when you ride like, well, pa- yeah. it obviously hurts. But is it like painful or just annoying? No, it's, it is painful. It gets worse. It, it's pretty good usually. Like the worst it's pretty good usually for about like an hour and a half to two hours and then and then after that it kind of starts to ache the whole time um and then specifically on on like steep downhills or anywhere where i really need to like lock my arms and use the front brake using the front brakes kind of the what's he doing you're Epic? boring me yeah <laughs> <coughs> yeah no, use, back in it now using sorry. the front brake is um Especially on downhills is is quite painful. So there was a couple of downhills in Serbia where I just had to just stop and have a have a breather halfway down because I needed a needed a few seconds rest. So uh, it's not ideal. I went actually went to Austria to the Red Bull APC last week uh, to have it looked at, and they want us to go back well as soon as possible. But I'm going to try and fit it in around Erzberg to go back for a few days and actually do some try and get it a bit better. What would I do that you can help you in two days? Well, uh, well, it's just that's I only went for one one day just to have it looked at, and he said no. Obviously, one day is not enough. We need you, they actually well they want us to go for a week, but that isn't going to happen with the race and schedule and stuff. But they, what, it, the just guy not right, just be there for a week. Yeah, just do rehab and stuff. But the the, the doctor, the physio that I seen, um, 
the scans, they'd sent all the scans that I'd had, but for some reason the file wouldn't open. So he said he didn't want to say too much um, until he'd looked at the scans and stuff like that. But he was yeah, more negative than I was expecting him to be about it, to be honest, I think. Um, so yeah, it's not perfect, but life goes on. Tell us about your um, your four days you had last week of entertainment. Uh, I've had a long week last week also. <laughs> Uh, that that saga is still ongoing. Um, uh, they appear to have figured out the the problem with the via, the van. So and start start from scratch. What's happened? We, where were you? What happened? What were you in? What went wrong? Um, so I was driving. Where had I even been? Uh, for, to, from come back from Serbia, and then I was planning to go straight to Italy to do some testing, and then I was need to to go to Austria to do some filming with Red Bull. Like this was my week's plan. Um, Flew back from Serbia, next day set off to drive to Italy, uh, pulled in at services, went to leave the services and my van just didn't didn't go anywhere, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't work anymore. Um, broke down, mm, this isn't ideal. So mechanic came out with a computer, did the diagnosis, said it's the accelerator pedal is a problem. Obviously it's all electric and vehicles these days. So I thought, oh, well, that's all right, at least we know what the problem is. Got recovered to the garage, Stayed the night for put the new pedal on, set off the next morning, all will be well. Uh d- d- sadly that was the the end of the smooth run of events. I had three days camping out outside a garage in this fucking shit old town in in France, which was the, the I was speaking to a guy, I have en- ended up finding um Jamie McKinney's old mechanic lives really close by and he came and seen us on the third day and said, You can't stay in this area. Like we have to take the bikes out of your van and uh you have to stay at my house because if they know you've got bikes in here, they'll come with guns. And I was like, all oh, right. Really? Yeah, that's literally what he said. I'm like, all right, uh, let's do that then. Uh, so, yeah, uh, spent three days for nothing, really. Turn, eventually, now the van is at Mercedes and the ECU is broke, which is, yeah, I think, like, very, very bizarre from what I've gathered. It's, like, unheard of on a modern vehicle or, like, one in a thousand or yeah. whatever, so... That should be ready to collect on Monday. Uh, so I went back from after being in Italy and Austria. I been went to the Red Bull Centre, came back hoping that they would fix it, and they said no, it's still not fixed. It needs a new ECU. That will take three days to arrive. It'll be ready on Monday. So that's why I thought well, I'll fly home and ride my bike a bit. That brings us to here. I've flew tried to go to fast Gatwick because well. yeah, I flew to Gatwick, and that, and the flight the only flight from Montpellier to the UK was to Gatwick, and it landed at ten o'clock at night. So that's too late to get any trains. So I'd Spent the night in London, got trained to heads the next morning. You've had a, you've had a bad, well not bad. You've had a f- that van's f- coming up for sale soon as well. <laughs> <laughs> Are you buying it? Uh, if it's cheap, I'll buy it. To be <laughs> fair, I'm kind of now. It, 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 well, I'm hoping it is, and by Monday it's fixed. But if it is DCU, at least it means there's kind of not mm, component, not no components wise that have broke. Like no, in in at the Mercedes garage, they said. The accelerator pedal was actually fine. It was just the, literally the computer of the van had had shit itself. So, um, finish the story off. Well, I'm trying to go fast because you yeah, usually, finish, usually, no, you usually go. Oh, this no, is good fi- story, Bill. No, now no, we can no, sort no, of no, no. lay back is. and listen to them. It's better. Just, just give us the figure. No, oh, no, <laughs> it was very expensive. And today I've been out riding and smashed my fucking phone. <laughs> and I think I've something I was about to pay for this week. I've had a terrible week. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in the negative for this month anyway. But life will go I on. am most mumps. Oh, yeah. You are not. Not with your <laughs> merch sales. Yeah, that's good. It's gone well. Everyone at the British Championship wears Tommy Sell t shirt mm. now. It's good. Like it. It was a good decision. Well done, Ed. Another uh, good idea of yours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. know if it will sell. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, so we should order that many because what if no one wants to buy it? No, nah, people have bought it. And we're, I'm happy with. Um, I it's just you. nice. I generally really like to see it at the race. It's so good to see people wandering about in it, regardless of. <coughs> whether you make money on it or whatever it's, and it's just nice it's cool. to see yeah no cool. I actually uh, there was a lot of Billy Bolt um, hoodies and yesterday bits and bobs yesterday busy. yeah you were in Enduro land yeah, really exactly. to be fair like a lot of moustaches mullets I did yeah they like a mullet the, the, the one kid had a mullet was so funny and he then we d- drew he a done some tashes on, on a few people I seen you you know on a child's yeah. head said do you know anyone with a moustache and he went Billy Bolt and I was like yep Brilliant! That's I actually good. did an enduro there. Um, Set up, they've got some mega. Yeah, no, uh, it, they do a two-day enduro, which is really good. Sometimes it's a British Championship, sometimes it's not. But 
I did it when it was a British Championship in 2016, my first year doing enduro. Um, and I'd done a few sprints and stuff like that. And I did quite good. I was, I think I was like getting like fourth, fifth overall of like in like the pro class at the British Sprint Championship. So I f- at that point, after only riding for a few months, I thought I was the bollocks really. Mm. So entered the British Championship there, um, which was my first experience of grass, like a full on traditional as it were like grass test and then it pissed down for like three days and it I, i've was crashing like six times a test really? but like everyone was crashing like holcomb was there johnny actually did as well like everyone was like, having a few crashes because that field where the race is was is the slippiest field on planet earth when it rains but anyway for me yeah, because it's grass and then under the grass is slate yeah it, like pff, i can i can't really remember much of it i just remember i was getting beat by clubman Really? Yeah, yeah, it was a really, really bad, bad weekend. Like up to that point, my enduro career, I'd crashed a lot, but like results-wise and stuff, I thought I was the bollocks. To be fair, and then I what went bike there. was you on? I was on KTM, my own, my old, old faithful. Yeah, um, and wow, wow, it uh, it didn't happen that weekend. I, was, I don't even. I'd well, my, you re- I sh- almost reconsidered your career change at that point. No, I just, I just knew like, like I'm, I'm not. I need to work on because like I could go fast even from the start like my test times if it was like in a wood and especially if there was like a single log or something remotely difficult involved even like around motocross tests and stuff it wasn't very pretty but my the actual time on yeah. the stopwatch was like reasonable but that weekend on like actual grass and like because was it a sprint no no it was a British championship so you did you did a test enduro or extreme enduro no enduro like uh, t- traditional time card enduro uh, yeah so um, you did one. It was a really, really good event. They did one event on that field where where the race, where the track was last night, and then you went on the road to another place. I don't know the name. I forgot. They, said, they said they had another track. Down yeah. The road. Uh, what was the track you were at? Right, Kamaythik Hill. Yeah. So, Is that so where you were? Yeah. Oh, okay, then there's another track which I can't remember the name. There's where Saints we were, well. yeah, yeah down the hill. There's Saints Well and there's Kamai the Hill. In fact, we was Kamai the Hill. Okay, well, there's another there's another track called Saints Well, which there was. You did like a little bit of that, and then went in the forest, um, and did. But there were like long tests, they were like nine minutes long. Mm. Um, so yeah, I was, I was very very bad. If anyone wants to the laugh, go and look at the results and so far down. I do just remember getting beat by club some clubman riders, and I was supposed to be the big the next big thing, but. I've got a lot better since then. No, you're doing well. I'd like to... Uh, I'm very glad you, you kept at it. Yeah, no, it was worthwhile doing, I would say. <laughs> there's, um, well, there's three three uh, trophies behind that make it worthwhile, yeah. I'd say. Mm. So, no, but it was a good place. Even the town, we drove through the middle of nowhere and yeah, then we got then, there and then all of a sudden we was like, we was, we was like well, we stopped a bit early because we stopped at a little garage, got some chili beef and rice, which was actually really nice. The um the 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 light motorbikes around there. It's yeah, it's even it's the person that served up my chili beef was coming to the race, weren't they? Mm, she did, yeah. And then the next person we went in the garage, they were coming. It was mad the amount of people that went to yeah. the race in that area, considering small area. Mm. I think even if they're not interested in bikes, they come for like a a night out. Yeah, which is no, a nice they do thing. a good they do a good job. That uh, British or the two day enduro they have, they have like a big beer tent, and yeah. it's like a yeah. full full weekend job. It's good. Good crack. Tenor. Tenor to go and watch. Uh, when they've got stars like him there, that's nothing, mm. yeah. It's good. No, people was angry with that, so the bloke, Adam said. Oh, really? Oh, mm. really? Well, it, yeah, it used to be a fiver. <coughs> it used to be a fiver. One bloke says, never coming again, just spent 20 quid. Yeah, well, it is wheels, to be fair, like I think. He said they were different. Yeah. Fuck, he says mate, what can you do for a fiver in this day and age? Tenor can't even get you a Nando's. No, I had one today. It cost me 39 quid. Well, you had two then, obviously. Uh, yeah, the missus had one. <laughs> What did you have? What's in order from Nando's? Uh, I just mixed it up today, actually. I just had a um, chicken wrap with halloumi in it and then some peri chips and macho peas. What spice? Hummus dip to start. They started doing a new spice and now they've stopped again. No, I don't. I just peri tame with a barbecue one. The, the, the st- <clears throat> uh, smoky churrasco, it was called. Uh, you, neither of you two obviously encountered it with the no, plain look I, on your face. I don't, I don't go to Nando's the, as much as you. The blank look on your face. If anyone out there got on board with the smoky churrasco, I was a big fan of it. And then Gone. went away for a couple of weeks, come back. Oh, smoky churrasco, please. I oh, don't do that anymore. Obviously, it wasn't a big hit. No, they do another one 
another new one. Well, uh, it's very periodic. My spells at Nando's now. They've usually got a good few months in between. So, the, uh, I had also the the new one last time, which I can't even remember what it was, but it's also quite good. But anyway, bit of irrelevant information for you. Mm. What, what's your Nando's order, Ed? Uh, chicken thighs. Uh, chicken thighs. Yeah, no, rice yes. and peas. Yeah, mm. Perry Tamer. Could oh, you're a Perry that. Tamer too. I don't. I, I could. They all couldn't even eat the, the chili same. beef last night. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's too spicy for you, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't like spicy food. And do you not? It just fucking ruins it, doesn't it? No, yeah, it depends. Your mouth's on fire. Like it. No, well, I don't like big, big, big spicy. Uh, when I was in Austria at the really? Red Bull APC, shoes. I had a, a burger in the hotel there, and oh my god. I was, I was in Red Bull had their own hotel? Nah, like the hotel next to it where they like put you up in. Mm. Um, the uh, the I never sh- went when I was Red nah, Bull. No, I was actually, I, I will went. actually talk a little bit about that. Was I? Was it even there when I was Red Bull? No, I went with Ken Roxon to when film. Is, do a video is it like in the middle of nowhere, pretty much? Yeah, like on the side of a road? Yeah, the like lake. proper country. Yeah, it's not far from a lake, but <laughs> yeah, like proper like country. Yeah. It's yeah. bizarre, but and it looks like absolutely nothing. Just like a farm building yeah. almost. Oh, but it's yeah, way. I was, I was, I had high expectations anyway because obviously it a, it's Red Bull and I'd seen the videos and Manny had been telling us all about it and stuff. Um, but I, I was even like, uh, from what I knew already, I was impressed by all that goes on and just the, just even just like the setup and like the the book in for it and like. They say, okay, how long are you coming for? Sort it all out. So say you're going for three days, like the plan you like a schedule for like all three days. So it's like you get like a school timetable. Well, you're not just wandering around going, eh, no, no, that? like the. No, it's full, full. When, oh, well, I went years ago. But we was filming something with Roxon and it was um, at this time he was doing this, at this time he's doing that. Then yeah, he had it's lunch. literally like a school timetable and then the fil- the, you have like a breakfast slot, yeah. a lunch spot, and then they sort of food out for you. But you have like, yeah, like hour long. S- Sessions with each specialist or whatever. Like uh, I wasn't expecting on it. I was also expecting just like wander around and then Wing it a bit. one o'clock you see yeah, this person. Yeah, because you want that interesting going before. So now you've gone. You're like, I want to go back. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go back. Um, Do you know where else you should try and go? Is that hangar? Yeah, hangar. hangar, hangar seven. Seven. Is seven. It? That's the one. I I've think been there a couple of times. I think um, after Erzberg because there's like three weeks until the next race in Italy, so I'm not going to come back to the UK. So the, that week after Erzberg, I'm going to go and have some rehab on my wrist, and I'll, I'll probably you can go up go. in a fighter jet and that. Yeah, and I want to go to the HQ as well and have a good rummage through the storeroom and find some swag, <laughs> because cause there's never anything in my size on the fucking app. Is there not? Nah, well, none of the good stuff. You make well, what size noise are you, then, XL? Double XL. Yeah. And uh, there's... The, the the douchebag backpack is the appears to be no longer in mm, existence. I want to have one of them. I emailed them. I messaged them again. No reply. Bad. You we're calling them out on this podcast. They don't answer my DMs. Or, uh, I'd no, also answer, like one because mine's broke this they week. They answer my DMs, but they don't. Then the, with an email address to email, and then the person don't answer the email. On the email, yeah, I've had three different email addresses. I got, I got two bags. They make a very good camera. That's bag. the problem, isn't I it? It's a just so bag. good. I tried to buy one and they sent us the wrong one. It wasn't douchebag, it was in a private shop, which I won't mention the name and give them any publicity because I'm busy in an email war with them <laughs> to get the correct one. Well, they're not having it at the minute. Fucking twats. <laughs> what? Surf dome it is. Anyone work at surf dome? <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> Why, what have they done wrong here? They sent the wrong one. This was another dilemma I heard about. They sent the wrong bag and he was leaving the country and he'd left the country with the bag and then too no, late like to get the new bag because he'd fucking left the country and I needed to use it but they sent the wrong one and the one I'd ordered was more expensive and sent us a cheaper one and I emailed them saying what really annoyed us was I said the day it arrived I realised it was the wrong one but I was leaving the next day anyway so I sent I took a picture and said of of what they'd sent screenshotted my order I said this is the wrong bag um Please reply urgently. I'm leaving the country tomorrow on a trip. Blah blah blah. And then did, it took him about a week to even get back to us. And they said, "Please return it to the. Or please fill out this address. Blah 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 to return it, and we'll send you the correct item." But I'd already said to the. So then I replied to him, "I've had to use the bag. I was leaving the country." Yeah, well, I, I'm sort of. You've used a bag that you don't want to keep. So then you've sort of. Well, I said I had to. I had no choice. No. Well, I, I did have a choice, I suppose. You had a choice. But they've sent the wrong one. The rest it's of your life without it. It's their fuck up. 
So I then, I, but then, then, the, so I said to them, I've had to use it. So, so then the next email I got back from a person, this wasn't automated, saying, the, rep- repeating themselves, saying, um, please send us, please apply here for a returns form and return it. And so I said, I don't think you've read my email properly. What were you expecting from that? To send then. the right one as well. The one that sent was oh, like half the You wanted a complimentary pro- yeah, right for, one. Of course I did. Well, no. well, anyway, this is a long-winded way to tell them. I, that, so let me see, in your them. situation, Ed, someone buys cakes. I've already asked Ed. He's on my side. He's not really. He's didn't not give us, Ed, he didn't give side. us the backup that I was Someone says, for. I've got. I've ordered extra large. You sent me large, but I've fucking worn them. That's different with underwear as well. Yeah, underwear is non-refundable. Well, yeah, but you've worn a, back, you've worn a backpack. In that situation, if he's been DMing them, douchebag being douchebag, and if that was me looking and I saw that he had 300 and well, whatever that's, thousand I, I'd followers, I'd send them an I'd email. Go, this 60 quid bag that's actually probably cost me four pounds to make. Yeah, but you've got to treat all customers. The yeah, same. but then you'd sort all of right, go. Tom. I'd sent them a DM. I used to work them. at customer relations for a big company. <laughs> well, the problem what he's doing now is what you don't want. Someone that's got well, a, no. an audience is now <laughs> slandering served. <laughs> so I, they, I would go, this could work either way. He could really like yeah, serve the geezer, man. He's just reading an email. He's not looking at uh, his Instagram. No, I sent them a DM too. I sent them an email and a DM at the same time. Ah, okay. because, because it was urgent that they responded to us. If they said to us, replied, if they looked in the Instagram inbox and they said, they said, don't use the bag or well, like you will replace it. Uh, I don't went, okay, I won't use it. Please send the other one out immediately. What I think we can safely gather from this conversation is you Surf Dome won't, won't be sponsoring our podcast. Yeah, <laughs> or you won't be buying again from Surf Dome. Well, that's what I've said now. I've said, please refund me the difference between the bag, so, uh, the bag you've thinking? sent and the bag I've purchased and I will purchase the correct one elsewhere. But that was about a week ago and I haven't answered anymore. So Surely I think they should refund the difference. That's the least uh, to be do. honest, I'm past care. And with the week I've had, I couldn't give a no, fuck. That's the minor problem. I couldn't give a fuck about this stupid camera bag. The, the thing that annoys us is the one they've sent is too big. It's like huge. Uh, I wanted the one you have. <clears throat> yeah, mine's a nice little bag. But the one they've sent us is like a similar vibe, but bigger and not as good quality. Is it here? Uh, yes I'll have a look at it I can see might, I might swap you uh, it's, it's not The dividers are nowhere near as good And it doesn't have A laptop compartment I don't, I don't want it Send it back Well that's why I didn't want it The main thing I wanted Was the laptop compartment I've got that in mine but Yeah I wanted yours I had the whole setup Of ha- what I was going to go To Serbia with In my head I That's probably why Serbia I'm went tits proper, up. In, I'm a proper vlogger now. I've vlogged well, my last... Well, I was actually going to bring that topic talking up. At, talking of that you topic and all, all things relating to vlogging. I've vlogged my own kit. full vlog. You've done a full vlog. He's a Sony user Film and got a laptop f- finally ordered. Oh, that, that, oh, that's what I've had to buy I've as well. I'm definitely in the laptop. fucking red this one. <laughs> actually, that all makes sense because I did wonder why my, I had... I got my American Express paid by paid and I wondered why it was so expensive for this month, but that does make sense. Your laptop... They're expensive laptops. Fuck. I bought a second M one. I feared. <sighs> Battery no. lasts five minutes, but still. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm very excited for it. But the delivery time for them is ridiculous. I, it, I've I, still I got. I reckon it could be any time now. No, it's another month. It's July. No. Sixth to the eighteenth of July is what it says. No. I've made one June. reel on my laptop since I've had it, and I've had it three months. <laughs> Pushed Talk, it out, I've made a reel. You did do a vlog the other day on your own. A lot of people enjoyed the, in the comments. I saw that it was there was yeah. They no, was I'm, I'm going to do more. I've the problem is when I'm filming, I think what hell now? The lucky bit you put it together and then you piece it together very well. Well, this is what I told you last night on the way home. You need to watch more YouTube or mm. more vlogs to no, understand. I do, I do. Yeah, but now you've actually done one and you yeah. can see what Ed's capable. Like what. You're gonna get. You're gonna About, what, polishing a turd. You, yeah, you're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> no, you yeah, what you do basically. You're gonna figure out more um, what you need to film, and it's mm. not to, especially when Ed's editing it. You more, don't anything. Just you don't need. Um, no, it's good. You don't need like to when film. When I was carrying my helmets to the van, I was just like this. I sort of ha- I had the vision, <laughs> and I just thought this would be like a quick fire, bomb, 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 and then whoa, we're off. And then when he put it together, I was like. Nice little touch there. Done. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Tom. I was most impressed. I'm excited to, to watch your vlog that you've just published now. You've served it. I rushed it in a little bit to finish it, but because I was sick of well, it, you've not, not been done. had anything to do with that one. I don't, generally don't have a lot to do with any of them anymore. Oh, really? I, I just sent if, if I just the only time them. I send them to Ed is if I've got like three to do and I've 
and I'm busy, like really busy. I just, I'll just send them the whole one and just say put that together. However How you long want. does it's it take you to edit one now? Lot. Mm, it's getting faster. The, this Serbia one was was probably pretty quick, and the the one that he's, came out the other day. He's gonna dramatically half his time on his new laptop. No, but I've already got him ahead of all the shortcuts I'm going to make. When I was editing Serbia on the, I was editing it on the train on the way to you yesterday, and I was just thinking out like, well, oh, in a few months' time, that's just going to be. The cl- one click of a button and that's going to happen. I was, oh, I'm so excited for really? it. Really? Yeah. I'm what laptop are you getting? Same as me. Nah, better than him. He actually is getting uh, it. Oh, I one upped him. How much you spent on that? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> about the same as a fucking Mercedes Sprinter ACU. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, more. More than half a grand. <laughs> oh, Fuck, lucky you got a lot of it. <laughs> he's, he's reinvesting in his YouTube exactly. channel. Exactly. No, the productivity levels are going to be mm. through the roof. And now I'm doing content. I'm doing brand work as well. I'm a photographer now. Did you know? Doing yeah. what? The f- photographer, photograph all sorts. Do you? Uh, I've done a bit of photography work. What have you been doing? Oh, I can't disclose that. I'll tell you what. One thing he's been doing. Uh, the other day when he's he the one vlog that he did make me edit was the, the pre-race vlog in, of Serbia and he sent me all the stuff and oh, I, ed- ed- did, did, did. I edited the footage and I saw that slow-mo shots of a ride nutrition bag near a front <laughs> wheel and then I was flicking through Instagram five minutes later and there's a full pose shot and <laughs> Bill had fucking took a little pick he dropped it on the on the gram sell a few oh, bags advertising do some pics yeah did some pics for I'm Raptor. still using my stuff I'm I'm out of my I only, have, I only uh, got one bag that I found in the garage up there, but I'm out of it now. Uh, well, we got a bit of riding I drink it two news. days before my race. I generally think it there's, helps. There's new products coming. Uh, uh, there's oh, also... Fuck, I've got not got WhatsApp on this phone yet. In two weeks' time, when the boat lands, there's uh, Ride Nutrition Kex coming, mm-hmm. which you won't be able to buy from Kex. You will only be able to buy those from Ride yeah. Nutrition. That would be nice timing with the new product, which I think is a couple of weeks away. That's good. Intra. Ride Nutrition Intra. I'm not going to say any more, but... Go and follow the Instagram page for updates. I'll, I'll certainly be having some because I enjoy the product I have now. I sold you a bag of that the other day. Uh, yeah, like literally, you te- Ed texted us saying, someone just asked us about Ride Nutrition and literally six minutes Someone later, asked me because I... Does it, work for, does it work for arm pump? I went, definitely. <laughs> Chitting about six minutes later. But someone done the same to me because I mentioned it in a video and they says, your last, should I, will, I have it? And then your, I just didn't respond. Your, your last video, I did notice some sales came from it as well. Well, his, that generally his did, vlog. Yeah, his, well, the timing was would suggest so. I mean, I've got no evidence to prove that, but um, your last video... I, d- I d- have it every time. I do drink it. The two days before I start drinking it, I don't drink on race day now, like you said, I just do it a couple of days before. You mix yeah. the right concoction up, don't you? For a race day? No, you have that a few days before. Then you was on them fuel carbo fuels. Then you was on proteins. Then some bars. Yeah, I have a like. Yeah, I have a like. Um, I've got my diet on race day pretty good now. It takes time. I just. Yeah, everyone's different, and loads of people ask but me. I've got but quite a good little routine. You've just got Your, f- yours is. You can't. Your, every, every race you do is different. So yeah, yeah, yeah true. it has similarities. I try. I always tend to take the same drinks. Trying to stuff Food your face in fifteen-minute service stations. Yeah, like yeah, but you also. Get um, you get the knack of that of what you're going to be able to. Eat. And the worst part for me is when it's so early in the morning. It's not so much. It's like trying to eat at four a.m. Or well, have breakfast. Trying to have breakfast. Oh, it's just that's the worst part. I, I do still struggle with that, but I have got a couple of things I'm going to try this year for Romania, which I, I think should benefit. Are you um, going to tell them, or is that a secret? No, just in case some of your opposition listen to this. Yeah, just in case you get any any spies. But no, nah, everyone's different. But the, I think what I would say is tr- whatever you're going to try, uh, attempt to eat, drink, use, like either just be prior or during a race, I would s- suggest doing it beforehand. Well, my, I'll, s- I'll tell my little thing because I'm there to help the young up-and-comers and I know a lot of people struggle to eat. I have um, porridge and then I have a banana. Then I'll go out for practice. Um, I have that ride nutrition the day before, a couple of... Um, couple of bottles worth of that i also use rhino power like an an energy one of those throughout the day because if you drink too much of that stuff no matter what they say that it um it's you have to be careful with your stomach or you start getting stomach cramps everyone's a little bit different some people can handle it more than others but i just have one of those in between the first in between practice and first race i'll have so a little bit of rice and some chicken that i've made the day before and then um peanut butter and jam sandwich and banana and maybe a little bar of some sort between race one and two, and that sort of maybe a couple of jelly babies, something if I need a bit of sugar, a little coffee. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. All good stuff. Simple, but effective. Don't really get... Otherwise, you just, it's the worst if you get stomach cramps and stuff. Mm. And that sort of don't give me stomach cramps. That just Josh Gilbert got stomach cramps in Mortal Two at the weekend. Mm, he did. Seen it that Instagram. was quite good, wasn't it? Mm. He did done very right. good. No, had he soft. done good, but I think he can do much better. Do you reckon? Yeah, he's a good rider, and then I think this that track didn't suit his riding style. Uh, that would that, that would <coughs> agree. Um, is he doing Hangtown? And he got a good start I think in he's that doing second the first race. Three. Oh man, he got a good start. He is fit, but the time difference. I would imagine he said he got stomach cramps, and imagine it was hot. It, like I just mentioned, he took some energy stuff. He's cramped up. He's tried to eat, and it's um, backfired. Yeah, he the, said. The I watched the video. He said, um, "The ate too the, much." Yeah, the the time from the first race to the second race is just is way, one hour way shorter than he was expecting. He had like a full meal and just our races in the British, which is what he's doing now. The GPs is two and a half hours. You have an hour. Yeah, you have like two hours, fifteen minutes, and um, uh. British Championship sometimes two and a half hours, about two if it's small because of all the classes. And then he's gone out there and then you've got an hour time difference, which is massive. So if you try yeah. and eat what you're doing and you're going to be back out yeah, there. Yeah, it's a bit outrageous, that, to be fair, when I, when I, I never thought about it. It's it sort of like so think fast. About kit off, half an hour, kit back on yeah, and back. It's like Des Nations. Yeah. When you, Des Nations, you do MX1, MX2 or whatever in two back to back races. Yeah. Mad. Um, but I think Hangtown this weekend, I reckon they do good. But this will probably be out after that. But I think if he gets a sixth place start around Hangtown. No. <laughs> what? This will be out tomorrow. Oh, will it? Fucking hell. Right. Sorry, mate. <laughs> um, it's good when you do that, though. If you, if you see it, Ed, oh, I bet you can't go first. Yeah, you, that's the best way to get it. That was what that was. He really Challenge. Went, when, you, when you send it to him that night and you wake up the next... Well, he, he's, he he's takes it upon himself. To do it the, for the next morning. No. Do you know what what that is? Is... Hover up and do it because fucking there'll be something else coming along that you yeah. might need doing. Yeah, well, it's good that you do. But it. I think if Josh can get a good a sixth place, I think he got like a fifth place start in the second race. I generally, think he can run in top ten or moto. Like some of the guys that were passing him, you could see there was something up because they wouldn't normally pass him. Mm. Oh well, that's good. No, it's nice. It's generally nice, isn't it? It gives such a for the AMA nationals to have Dungey back. Caroli back yeah, and then I was to have a British rider out there gives how, us something to How watch. mint is it that Donji just looks no different to no, same man. <laughs> I was actually quite excited to watch I didn't even get around to watching the race but I was excited for it I watched the highlights and stuff like I've that I've watched all them and I can, and then I put the GP on and I couldn't watch that What the GP? Yeah, Not I in Spain watched, I haven't I just watched sort of a went. single MXGP wow. this year Half time watch. no, I watched the highlights Yeah the highlights is good You can get I've seen uh, Guys has crashed That was quite good In the quality race I don't know where it was When he jumps off the truck Yeah I think Ben had a crash The same place But Yeah going back to GP uh, The AMA Nationals That's good to have Dungey So So good to watch Like I stayed up later Than normal to watch that Uh, So I'll tell you The person that impressed me The most the whole weekend Um, See if you can get it Hunter Lawrence Yeah Jet Lawrence Hunter Lawrence Hunter Lawrence Yeah Jet Got the road horse. amazing, don't get me wrong, but Hunter just battled it out and just yeah. brought two seconds back. What a box. You no, know, when you see the way the ones that won the race, like Hunter Jet, Chase Sexton, and Ken Roxon, all their styles are so amazingly immaculate. Yeah, they're just that so is, perfect. Um, and I think the way the bikes are now and the way they ride, the people with that style effortlessly smooth. Put so, uh, the when right I watch them ride, I sort of think that. That's, that's me, yeah. I look the same, feel the same. You do. You your style's pretty good, but you just don't, yeah, don't half move. The speed. But no, it does. Well, it's mad to watch how precise they are, how good they are, how efficient they are on a bike, and then to be winning as well. It shows you that now that's the way to do it. Do you agree, Bill, or not? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that's your sort of effortless style on a motocross. He wasn't listening. <laughs> no, I was listening. I do. No, I was just saying, like the four guys, two in both classes, they're uh, yeah, the best. like they at this current moment of time the evidence is strongly in favour of mm. that but Anderson's a little bit different he would he was fast no but Anderson still yeah he looks but he's still got that flow that yeah but that's the, doesn't matter what, what sport position. as long the nah. person that's good at it and different but he's still he's, he's not I wouldn't say his style really that similar to the, the no but if you look where it, I don't know he does everything right still well yeah well obviously there's uh, the fundamentals you have to do uh, anyway like mm. you, you got to Otherwise, you're just going to... Yeah, he's looser. Shit, he's not just like... He moves a bit more yeah. and a bit hunchback at times, which I quite like. Like when he's sat down and he's... Yeah, and he just scrubs it off. 
He's um, good. He's he's is more fun to watch. To be fair, yeah, I, I would prefer to watch his to any of the other ones. He's a, he's a big shirt on Tucker like you as well. He no, just does the back. Given. His is usually just the back though. Oh, you do front as well. I don't bother doing it. What no tuck? Don't touch it. Just leave just it. Leave it. Just leave what, it. Just button the trousers. Do you know up, actually why that on. actually started? Well, it didn't. It, it, just scruffy. Nah. When I <laughs> <laughs> when I first my first year. Did you tuck your shirt in at school? Uh no. Well, the did you go to school? Yeah, I was. I had that to picture go to school. you posted the other day with um <laughs> Jack, Jack Price is fucking brilliant. <laughs> There's um just like a big overgrown kid just like Ooh. <laughs> um I only actually wore like a proper proper school uniform for one year of my school career like with a blazer and a shirt and a tie and that why only what what do you mean your school career because when I my my first like primary school was just a just a polo shirt and a jumper yeah and Tommy I, used to wear cap at school and then I went to yeah in Mason we had cap track suits <laughs> and hats and lunch well backpack. yeah that and my little drawstring night backpack. Yeah, or, or a JD bag. Yeah, night little night JD bag. Mm, Got it from JD. Um, now nah, we just used to do the JD bag. We couldn't afford the proper one. Really? Nah, I'm not like joking. Nah, I um, And then my first year of middle school was proper uniform, blazer, shirt, tie, the full oh, job. We never had full, full job lot. So how did you? Of course, I didn't tuck my shirt in there. I'm not going to tuck a polo shirt in. Oh no, yeah, true. You wouldn't tuck a polo. No, mine was just polo shirt. All yeah. School so, but I did have one year of having the full kit, and I actually quite liked it. To be fair, really, yeah, quite a joy. Then, when was the last time you put a suit on? Now, mm. FIM Awards? Did you? You've not been to one of them, have you? No, it's clashed. But yeah. I'm I'm allowed to go this year and collect. Oh yeah, all three of their medals. This oh, that'd year. be quite cool. Mm. Get three. I'm gonna be gonna look well, bad boy, walking out with three around my neck, aren't yeah. I? <laughs> <laughs> Until Tony Bow comes along with 32. Nah, because you're only going to have two at a time. Yeah, but he might bring all the others out. No, <laughs> you'll have two on and I'll have three on. I'll be the boy. Yeah, that is good. Is it Monaco again? I don't actually know. I think I'd imagine so. No, that'd be good. No, I do. Bill's Did the you... type of person that'll wear like some bastard trainers. Yeah, I do something, something bastard. Of course yeah. I'm going to wear trainers on my suit. I'm going to wear <laughs> fucking shit flickers, aren't I? What, um, <laughs> did you go to school for your full the full term? Yeah, you, I nearly attended all of school, pretty much. Um, I wasn't allowed to do anything else. Both of my parents worked and mm. had nowhere to ride my bike. So I had no... I, to I be honest, year 10. I actually enjoyed school, to be fair. I thought it was good crack. Everyone just used to fuck around with your mates every day. You know, I good. used to find it reasonably easy, to be fair, so... That I, surprises me. I quite enjoyed it. No, I was, I'm a bad boy at school. I was, I'm <laughs> clever as fuck, me, man. Really? Yeah. No, I... I did all right. Um, and then, no, I did sixth form as well. No. Yeah. I got, sixth form. I've got fucking ear levels, man. <laughs> Have you actually? Yeah. <laughs> I, I did shit in the end. I got, I've got three C's at A levels. I have no choice. Huh, man? Billy's a straight A student. I got four A's. Maybe I was getting straight A's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What song's that? And we were stuck in the dumb days. <laughs> what song? I've never heard that I song. I don't know the words. I just it's know that off um, School of Rock. Oh, uh, I, I actually like that film I watched it for the first time You don't like it recently. that much mate, you didn't even know the fucking well, song Well no, I, I think I might have missed the start or, There's the two School of Rocks I don't know, I don't know. But it's anyway, in the middle Good good film If anyone wants to watch a film School of Rocks is quite good But And I was very clever at school I don't know about good so I like it It's good bit Inspirational cheesy. Bit cheesy uh, Shit like that I, It gets me going It like, gets you in the feels Yeah it's like that All them cringe fucking tragic <laughs> I don't watch many Inspirational films. films Proper get Well not They're not meant to be inspirational But When someone's trying to do something and It's good Good crap I, I asked some questions Shall I Shall we flick a few out Yeah flick a few flick. What about you Ed What's happening with Is this going quicker than normal On this sofa or what We've How long have we been going 55 minutes Yeah I'm It's nice quick. and it's more enjoyable <laughs> Um, what are we going to do for the... Oh, there's another chair. I was about to see what we're going to do for well, the guests. There, there's, some, there's some Kex news. Yeah, so we have got another chair, um, if there's four of us. Uh, what else is happening in Kex? You're redesigning some new... Yeah, I've been doing that for a merch. while. I pretty much know in my head what I want. I just need to portray that onto a piece of paper so then Ed can portray that onto an Illustrator file so then mm, it can be... No, I can't do Illustrator. I'm not very good at it. I don't, I Should I ask if anyone can? I'm still looking for... A graphic designer. I've got another one as well as Nathan Watson. Uh, not Nathan, Ryan Watson. I'd always like more freelancers. Um, but other than that, Kex, there's a new shipment inbound in 20 days that's supposed to land. And there's 
Hat. What about a hat? There's five new hats. New when they're coming? Sun hats. In also 20-ish days. Sun hats as well. There's sun hats? Yeah, sun hats. Where have Kek you been? Sun hats. Where have you been? I don't get fucking not in the loop, am I? There's two pairs of Tommy Self pants. There's two pairs of Billy Bolt pants. I've seen them. There's girls' clothing coming. I'm in the... Girls' clothing. Girls I didn't. Clothing. I didn't know that. To be fair, girls' clothing, and I'm in the very, very early stages of sampling girls' products. And wow! They, they will be here after the bank. Do you holiday. need me to try them on or not? Uh, <laughs> no, but I've got a full range of sizes, so I do need to divvy a few out and see. And mm. yeah, for all systems go. Yeah, yeah. I've been busy. Are the they plan. the same sort of thing as the men's or? Um, have you gone for um, I've gone for different cut. What what I'm struggling <laughs> with? At, at Obviously, the, no. What I am really no, struggling with. You can do both, can't you? You can just do different prints. Girls wear these ones. Girls girls do wear these as cycling shorts. I'm going to do girls leggings, girls sports bras, and another type of. I want to do a bra and an underwear. But the problem is, a man wears boxer shorts, and that's pretty much it. If yeah, I, it's I've, hard to do I've asked stuff. so many different girls and looked at markets and all that. Some say this, some say thong, some say short, some uh, it's a nightmare. Um, so yeah, that's that's all in the pipeline. Oh, wonderful. Well, oh, and the ride nutrition pair, which I said, but you can only buy uh, that. On our, they're on our website. We love some. We yeah. love some traffic dial. So the way the that. way that that I don't we haven't discussed the fine details of that, but the way that I see it working is we'll we will promote it on our website. Yeah, like once it's live and stuff. Yeah, like and that. push it to obviously all the people that subscribe to the email campaigns, but. You will only be able to get them at uh, Ride Nutrition. Ride Nutrition. I think and I don't know what they're going to do, whether you're going to do a deal together with a product. Yeah, no, well, I'd imagine, I'm hoping timing works, that it is going to be with the new product. With your new Impact Bar. Huh? Your new Impact Bar. Intra. Intra Bar. It's not a bar either. Oh, is it not? Where, where did you get bar from? Just sort of assumed that would be your next step. No, uh, that, no, that's... No, we've got a few other intra uh, intravenous is the way what I get from that intra um, something to do with your blood. No, but that's look. no, that's too far. That's too complex. Intras during, during. Ah, oh, we're having a during drink. Um, well, I said too much. Bloody hell! <laughs> no, so I'd imagine. So hopefully, just, so you have the you have the we've ride got, nutrition. We've got a pre drink. Pre drink. Now during, during drink. drink. What do you think's coming next? <laughs> After. Hey, well, that that's actually very, very, very early stages, but it's going all right, to be fair, considering, like, it's just kind of the three of where we've, we haven't put any more money in than what we started with, and we're just kind of, we haven't gone any mad investment, or it's just kind of mm, ticking like away, product. and I think it's actually, yeah, it's, it's, I would say it's going better than I was expecting so far, which is nice, and, like, the, this new product's actually probably come sooner than I was expecting, so... It's quite exciting. I enjoy. Who's the, who's done all the artwork for you guys on that? Uh, we have a Portuguese lady. Why have I not got the contact yeah, to this person? Because <laughs> I I really like the packaging. That's and the that's colours. a good point. Um, I'm sure we could link that up. I th- that's never that's never crossed my mind. To be fair, that was a Fiverr job. Yeah, Fiverr is like a minefield. Yeah, I feel website. like Fiverr is very <laughs> <That's> cheap. <laughs> Fiverr's a website, Tommy. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's for freelance. You never heard of Fiverr. It's very hit and miss, though, isn't it? Like, uh, well, no, it's this <coughs> very, reckon, very good stuff. Yeah, no, it. it's there's there's obviously a lot of uses for it, and I think a lot. Of I people think I did. Uh, I did. I advertise on there once. No, you didn't. <laughs> I ninety nine designs. I used. You used ninety nine designs for a logo once. Uh, Fiverr we used and um, for the podcast intro ah, yeah, yeah. and for the forgotten round voiceover, voiceover. Of, that sounded like the Supercross guy. Oh, I do a lot then. Well, not that. <laughs> you could go on. Don't it worry tomorrow. about it. Just don't worry about it. I don't think it's ever going to affect you. Um, okay. Moving on. Yeah. Next topic. Is uh, that a topic then? Is that a question? Well, no. no. We're just discussing oh, what's I, going on. I thought on. you said a minute ago you're going to go to some questions. I oh, will go to some oh, questions. Okay. I thought that maybe that I, no. I sort of tuned out and then we was talking about Kex and I thought maybe yeah, someone just says any new Kex. It's been a while, isn't it? No, Bill was just asking. A lot of people I enjoyed it last Kex. time about. Uh, I don't really think it's business chat, but a bit of what we're up to. Yeah, no, that's fine. Because a lot goes on, really. Yeah, all d- every day something happens, doesn't it? Mm. You're, you've been busy <laughs> oh, as well. Yeah, you're flat out. Aren't you? He actually is. He's got he's got fingers in many pies. What? 
What do you mean, what? Oh, yeah, I'm fucking Training, up. riding. I've had a K-Tech. Fucking big week this week. All sorts. You've got a training K-tech school tomorrow as well. Monday, I've got fucking coaching. Uh, VIP Tuesday, race yesterday. I've had a bit of a day off today. I had to what? just do this today. Too oh, you are printing money this week then. And then I got... A, Yesterday he said his back hurts from carrying British motocross. <laughs> <laughs> and, then <I> got, <laughs> and then I've got um, coaching at uh, Apex tomorrow. Yes, yeah, busy week to be fair, too busy. And I I would have liked to have rode today, but then I re- I thought, use a bit of common sense. You're 32 years old, you've raced at 9 o'clock last night. Do you need to be going out riding this morning? And I just thought... The answer to that is no. You don't need to be riding Thursday morning on a Jubilee weekend. I was going to say, tracks would be busy to do because no one's at work. Yeah, I just thought, use common sense. I'm still a little bit under the weather for some reason for the past three weeks. I think I must have caught something in Dubai. I've got a question here for you. Was um, Dubai good? Did you like Dubai? Sorry to put in a Yeah, that was fucking nice. Uh, uh, really, really, really also good I'm holiday. a big fan of Dubai. I wasn't expecting to like it. And great place. I yeah. think... I think Another trip that would be a good is us three in Dubai. Yeah. Or a few a few boys, a couple of mumps, ride some bikes. <laughs> 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 did, 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 did you only ride the one track? Yeah, just ride that one, the Melbourne Motocross track, and I had such a good time. Yeah, I, uh, the whole time I was there, it was just proper nice vibe, mm. the, the biking community there. It's small, but... Yeah, mate, nice. you helped me out. Um, junior was mega. Yeah, Junior's sick. But... Um, but I only rode literally for a couple of hours one morning. That was just come together because I've been meshing him over the past couple of years trying to sort training scores and that out. I wanted to go out there, do like two days, have a little bit of a holiday, earn a bit of dough, come back. But now it just worked out. I was on a family holiday and then he just says, oh, I've got a mate who's got a Honda, uh, pretty much brand new, 22, 450. And I was just like, right, I just borrowed all gear. Like I had odd everything. <laughs> like nothing of my, I wore nothing that I was sponsored by. Um <laughs> Well, and, and then they all went, well, this track. local's pretty good. <laughs> oh, well, mate, yeah. and then they was taking pictures. I was like, these pictures. They're, I was that odd, even if they put a picture up of me. You wouldn't have looked like you. It, I didn't have, I was on his bike, completely the wrong gear. Could have been anyone. It wasn't like I had one item wrong. It was like everything wrong. So <laughs> I could have just said, hey, not mate. me, mate. <laughs> I could have even posted it. I was just going to film me riding and just post it and just put... Good day watching some watching people Watching the ride. locals. Yeah, or no, it wasn't even me. Like It's completely different. But, um, yeah, the trip was mega. Uh, Barles Barley, 666. That's a bit of a... The 666 worrying, but... Um, I know this, man. I don't know whether this is a question for you, Bill, or Tommy, or, or all of us, but I'm sure all He's three of us will have different thought. answers. Where do you think Billy would come in a British motocross race? I think we've had this before, but it depends on his day mm, because yeah. I hit, raced hit up um, on Ling. When you come to watch at Ling, you was well excited for a go. No, I, Ling would be I, good. I do Ling would be very good for you, but I also think other tracks. We raced, didn't we, up at, a, uh, what was yeah, it? Havrig. Havrig, and he'd done a better lap time than me in one race, so I'm hit that miss. close. I I'm better when it gets rough. Yeah. And quite, and, and <clears> like really technically you, You've rough. never really done a great deal of motocross on a motocross bike. Well, that year I had one. Um, you did do quite a lot that year. Yeah, that year I had a bike, but I didn't. Well, at that time, that you was, was fast that day, really <coughs> fast. Like I was looking behind one race, and he was catching me, and I was pushing my bike. That, that bike and he was the ref- front. And I was relieved. Like that, relieved. yeah, all right, just before the rollers. Mm. That um, that so bike was actually fuck, he's gone a beach race setup, <laughs> beach race suspension, um, and I loved it. And then. Just and then I did Hawkston like three weeks later and got motocross suspension sent for it and I hated it and then I never wanted to ride that bike for the rest of the year because I'd lost my the beach race setup was a little bit softer I think I don't really know that in fact neither the the motocross setup or the beach race setup was probably proper because the beach race setup was from when I did knockout three years earlier when I was really slow so none of it was actually very good but. Anyway, when I changed the suspension, I didn't really enjoy it anymore. And that was terrible, terrible, terrible at Hawkston. Like, that was not a fair reflection of my motocross ability. Um, And then last year, I didn't have a bike. But this year, I do have a bike. Um, It's in Italy. And whilst I was... I dropped it off last week, and some suspension suspension has arrived for it. Um, it Yeah, it's just stock other than suspension, which I was a little bit annoyed about. Um... But anyway, we'll not worry about that. So I'll, I shall be riding it, I'd imagine, at some point. And the, the three weeks in between Erz, uh, Erzberg and Aberstone, I'll probably be in Italy most of the time, so I'll go and 
send some whips around Dono or something. Yeah, Dono's a nice train. Um, so no, nah, but I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy riding it and racing it. The couple of I've probably done three or four motocross races in my life. Um, that, that one I can just was you was unreal that weekend. Yeah, even the second day I was good. The one it wasn't even like it was a one no. day wonder. Like the second I was generally. Day. That one race, I was riding really well, and I was looking back, and I was like, <laughs> "Last race of the up. first day." <laughs> yeah, and you had a better lap time, and then luckily you crashed, or I think you probably would have done me. <laughs> and no one, we hadn't raced. No one had raced because it was COVID. So that was to, for you to come out and beat me. It would have been, I wouldn't have. Well, I the comments I still went like, mental about yeah, the lap time. Like Facebook, out, Billy, Facebook had erupted, faster, yeah. didn't it? Yeah, because it was Cumbria. Was it? Was it a no one was racing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. so you could properly no, was, see the lap time. It was the, on, the, on, on the results, now. it said, like, race result, overall time, best lap time. Billy Bow. It so was it, was so on, it was on Facebook, it was from my laps. <laughs> and I was, it, that track was where I used to spend quite a bit of time when I was riding trials because the guy. Um, oh, oh, right. So, I didn't know that. Well, what difference does that make? Well, a lot. It's your home track. <laughs> so, anyway, there was like a lot of the locals in, like, like the of the motorcycling community from around there, it, so it was it was doing the rounds on Facebook mm, that nice. night. It was good, good times. Um, good weekend. I thoroughly enjoyed that. That was a good weekend. I washed my bike myself in between every race. There's a, there's a lot of nice that weekend. That so and that was six races. I washed my bike five times really? that weekend. My mechanic. Wait, well, because yeah, Willie was there. Well, luckily, otherwise I wouldn't have had a jet wash. It was because no. it was like thick, heavy sand, wasn't mm. it? Like my radiators and stuff. I had to wash out between every race. You never got out the start in front of me. I would wonder what you'd have done if you was in front of me off the start. No, nah, I was second. I think in two races yeah. and like third, fourth, fifth. But yeah, you all shot at everyone. I think. That was a dirt start. Was that your last one? <coughs> they were deep ruts yeah, out yeah. the start gate then. Some dirt was all right. I don't mind if it's normal. It's just when it's inconsistent. Yesterday was, there was shale. There was just slate under. So you were starting on slate and then there was a couple of grippy ones. Mm. But where it started off with a bad gate in 15, I, I had a bad gate finish. I never got to go to the good gates. Mm. Um, do you want me to pull on your heartstrings? Um, yeah, I'm all right. Well, I don't know. I don't know. You fucking decide. What do you mean? Well, th- I'm looking through here and there's there's quite a lot of comments rather than questions. This one is terribly sad, but also very nice. Sad? Yeah, not a question. I lost my dad recently, um, but all your guys' content has really helped me. So thanks for being you. Uh, it's brought a lot of happiness to me. Oh, that's nice to oh, hear. That's good. Sorry about that. Yeah, sorry about for that. But You've, um, really nice to hear. We got a lot of Message that. Message Tommy, night. you'll probably answer you and talk to you quite a bit. I'll get you through it. <laughs> No, we'll, we'll try we'll no, try and bang some more out Monday night 6 o'clock it's not not a thing on your channel is it though sticking to a schedule no, no we don't do a schedule <laughs> well no I, I try and do a Sunday and yes. then a midweek to be fair I try but we're hitting miss I've, I've obviously yes, unproductive week from a YouTube perspective the last week mm. because I've had nothing to do and the laptop was dead so I couldn't even and I had no internet to, when I was camping outside the garage so I couldn't even edit the Serbia vlogs I was having to walk one and a half mile to go to Aldi. Really? Mm. That was my daily exercise. On the last day of being there, I paid 50 euros to get a taxi to the beach just to see different scenery. No way. Mm. 50 euros to go and swim in the sea. And it was 100% worth it. It was amazing. Do you, do you two not talk to each other in between podcasts? <laughs> no. Because like, everything Bill says, I've, like, I've heard this. I've heard no, this. we don't <laughs> generally chat that much, do we? Nah, just he, when we see each he other. rings us on his way home from riding now and again. <laughs> if obviously if you haven't answered, he, he probably acts so rings surprised. Me. I don't know if he's acting or not. No, we I haven't told him. I haven't again. actually I spoke him. to him. I haven't spoke to him in the last I, couple of weeks. I texted you when you was in um, when you were stuck, but he don't really say a lot. <laughs> just says I'm stuck, and now <laughs> no, no, well, I like comment to his Instagram pictures and just put. I just put. This is a fucking stupid. Why have you posted this? I, you know what? He really got offended by when I, oh, that, that with all the faces. I told I him yesterday. Why? I said, why does he keep posting all the faces up? And he, <laughs> he just says, people, his fans like it, and then I just says, no one likes it. <laughs> And then he screenshot a fan laughing and says, I like this. And I just said, oh, yeah, he, he obviously does like it. <laughs> and that was it. I didn't talk to him I until we're here I, now. I, no, I've been at, uh, no. Well, other than the, the group where you're there. but well, the group. I sort of ask Ed me. about you. <laughs> I generally do, don't I? I go, what's Billy doing this week? And he goes, oh, I don't know. He don't even know. I was like, All That's right. usually the case, to be fair. Um, we're, all three of us will answer this. Billy, well, Erzberg predictions. Let's go with that one. I'm not uh, answering that. Why? 
I will. Um, and, uh, the old one, what's his name? <laughs> Graham. Graham. The proud Brit. Do you know what, Erzberg? Yeah, Graham's run it six times. He's the boy around there. Fucking hell, Tom. It's in his bio. <laughs> Five times <laughs> Romaniac winner. I looked at his Instagram the other day. No, I told you all this on the way. No, I looked at his Instagram. <laughs> I Graham's, told you would Graham's gone to see. But then Ed, me and Ed had a chat because we were sat in a va- uh, van for three hours either way yesterday. He says, um, you've told him it's a bit of a different track. So Graham, his usual tactic, starting a little bit slower, picking his riders off. It's going to be difficult to win. So Graham's going to have a harder chance because you need to go fast out the start. Yeah, and no, I time. think, no, it's a similar track, but I think because it, it's been rode so much and then there's tours happening at Erzberg like every weekend, you, anyone can pretty much go. If anyone wants to go, it's... Oh, like, can you? Pre- yeah. you could only have, I thought it was a work in mind the whole time. Uh, it, it is, but the tour kind of, there's like, because there's bits of it which are, there's no iron left in it. So, like, the oh, tours, so you can't go anywhere. Like, the tours have got set routes and stuff. But um, so basically, the first part of the race is all in one forest. And that's pretty much where everyone goes on the tours. So, that I think will be quite easy and quite fast. So, uh, Graham, as usual, tactic. Well, I don't even think it's a tactic. It's just how he is. He just doesn't really get too worked up and plods away and arrives, catches everyone up by about halfway, still full of energy. Cause do, you reckon he just, do you reckon he even races or he just completely does not care about anyone else and he just does his own thing? Uh, he's so chilled out. It seems like he's like doesn't even realise he's in a race half the time, yeah, which a lot of the time, some races now, it doesn't quite work because the, the speed is so high and the intensity is so high. But like... It, it makes sense as to how he does so well and how he saves so much energy because he's just like worried. Even in Serbia, to be fair, on the last day, um, I caught up to him um, and he started first, then Manny, then me, I think it was. Oh no, Kibat, Kibat Graham, Manny, then me. And um, so we, we caught up to him and we were together for like a while and... and he he'd, he'd just take his time on the most bizarre sections that he'd like get I don't know if he was having a breather or like psyching himself up but not even for difficult parts so like he'd bunch everyone up at the beginning of a stream for like the first step which isn't even difficult like and you're like come on what the fuck are you doing get up it and then everyone would follow him and then the next bit where it would get quite difficult you'd just look up and he'd just be gone like he'd do the next bit so fast so like it's so weird to kind of race against him and then um, I think the fast sections is kind of where everyone else gets a breather and like the difficult sections is obviously where it's quite difficult but I think it works the opposite for him. He arrives after the fast sections like out of breath and panicking a bit. So like he comes to like the first part of a riverbed or like the first time. the first few bits of a hill and takes his time and like um, there was a couple of a couple of difficult sections where Manny and uh, Kabachev had got in the lead and that could like see them starting to pull away and Graham's there like getting a run up for this step about this high and I was like I shouted at him at one point I'm like come on what the fuck are you doing <laughs> because I could I know like he's going to leave me up the next bit where it's it's going to take me longer um, but yeah he, he it's almost like a skill really to, to kind of not get so worked up and caught yeah. up in the race and just because you are a lot of the time all like racing yourself the, and the track yeah. in our races like on a, that Red Bull TV thing from like Erzberg it's normally like Oh, he's here. He, oh, Graham's here. Here he is. Yeah, he were just arrived. Oh, oh, Graham's in the race now. <laughs> it's just like he turns up halfway he's, through. He's, he's yeah. Brilliant. When I watched the one last year, he said, "But that. Um, so come after about an hour." To oh, say, he's, to say, he's fucking nine hundred years old, and he <laughs> coming off of getting his ACL done last unbelievable. year. Unbelievable. Think like incredible because at that age, and he's left the factory an team, and he's now doing everything. Well, he's he's sorted out his own team. With new mechanics and new people that haven't, the mechanic he's got for him he came and helped at a couple of races last year. But he was—he's never been like a race mechanic, or he's never been to all of the races we go to. And Damo, his old mechanic, had been with him for fifteen years, and he's on a stock bike pretty much, which is his choice. But that's what he likes. Uh, he's literally on a stock bike. Yeah, uh, pretty much. But ba- bo- basically, yeah, bone stock. That's unbelievable. Revalved suspension from his it's, mate, it's I think. Full stock no exhaust, everything. Yeah. He's not even got... Stock exhaust. Yeah, stock exhaust, everything. He took... No, he did have an FMF. He took I it did. off. Did he? He didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> he is a funny man. He's a rare man. Don't, if anybody watching, don't... He had his clutch stole. If you watch my vlog from Serbia, you'd have seen his clutch, got, his clutch cover got stole. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> the best part was, I think they must have sent, like, one for each of the team riders. And... Uh, 
his the other guy of the team's got was already being put on the bike and they were, he, they were doing his next. Graham's got nicked and he didn't even take it off the other guy on the team. He just ran the stock run for the whole weekend. <laughs> He's brilliant. Uh, so bless him. I think, but he definitely won't be far away in the race. Like it's, he's been there that many times. And does it wind you up? Sometimes you must sit and just go, "You fucking joking!" He's in in stuff. Israel, when the Israel was a bit of a weird race, really. Um, I think no one other than other than kind of Mario actually kind of knew when the difficult sections were coming. And they were literally all, it was pretty easy all the way until like the last 10 kilometers of the race, which was like then all difficult. So um, we had a bit of a lead, got to the, the service point was halfway. There was kind of nothing difficult. And Graham, me, Graham, me, Manny and Wade arrived together. And then Graham was about five minutes behind because it was quite fast going and stuff. So we pulled a bit of a lead and then um, rode out from the service point. It was probably about half an hour's worth of riding and you get to the difficult spots. Um, did a few hills, not many though. I hadn't been in it long, and I just fucking heard another bike coming, and I'm like, "Oh, is this then?" But I just seen Graham, and he ne- he takes his goggles off after like five minutes, doesn't put them back on, so his face is always black, and he always just sees eyeballs like at the right at the top. <laughs> I could just see his, these eyeballs. I was like, Fuff, "Just fuck off, Graham! Like, what are you doing? What are you doing?" This was like his first race back as well. I'm like, "What are you doing here now?" <laughs> and like the first of the difficult sections, he definitely pulled some time, and then I. Had a few, made a few good moves and like pulled a little bit back on him. But the second half of the race, and then he arrived to the finish. I'm like, what fucking speed were you going this <laughs> afternoon? Why were you going to? Well, and he don't even get G that. He just goes. Right. Yeah, he was just like, yeah, I did all right. I was all right this afternoon. <laughs> it was difficult, wasn't it? I was like, yeah. What about what the, the forty degree temperatures and none, none of that bothered you? No, no. But <laughs> it's uh, great, isn't it? He's, he's packed his bags in in Indonesia all last week. From Israel, he was going somewhere else, and so then somewhere else straight from the race in Israel, and then Serbia. He went straight to Indonesia. That in not even been home. No, he just just one. He, he talk about you collecting the cash. Yes, he is a man that definitely <laughs> collects the cash. <laughs> really, the the world he has to. You could not go on the the place to place tour in that he does without getting benefit from it. Because that event in India looked like it was hard work. They they worked. Can I see hard. him on his little putt putt. Just doing a wheelie. The video had like a million views and he's just got some keys on the back of his bike wheeling through a thing. And the other one where he's wheeling around and it said, what could happen? And he just drops the front wheel on a water main and the fucking water and stuff <laughs> sits in there. There we go. Oh, bless him. He's, a, he's brilliant. Right. What's your predictions then, Tom? He's got... He doesn't, other than they mean Graham or what other riders can stick do? with Graham. I'm... I'm Podium. I can't say Bill. He's here, and he. Just well, I don't know. The, I don't know the order of the podium, but I think it's going to be Manny, Billy, and, and Jarvis on the podium. Now that, that's taking a piss. He's fucking really gone. I'm just having like. No, not that. Not, I'm not saying in that order. Oh, just a podium. Those yeah. three riders. Well, yeah, yeah, I would say that. I don't really. I know think the that's just probably a solid bet. Um, depends uh, if anyone's uh, got to drag weird. anyone off Bill. Uh, uh, it's just because it's been like three years since I've been in Edinburgh. And it's like the biggest, ra- well, it's not the hardest, obviously, but it's like the biggest kind of most famous, mm. biggest hyped up race, like uh, the whole Red Bull week. TV again, isn't it? Yeah, be live on Red Bull TV. Uh, the Do you whole have to pay week- for that one? No. I'll watch that one then. Oh, thanks, Tom. Um, <laughs> the whole the whole thing's just big, and but it's been three years since we were there and racing it, so it just, it just feels weird. It, I, I really don't know what to expect, but I'm very, very excited to go back because it is probably my favourite race. Um despite never really having a good good performance there. Have you not? Nah, my first year I was there when I first started in Joe was probably still my best year, but other than that, it's, it's not gone particularly well. That year in 2018, when me and Manny helped each other, and we were quite easily in the lead by quite a while, and then that year all went wrong and ended up fourth. Why did it go wrong? Well, we got to a section which was quite difficult, um, and he was kind of stuck... And then I had like one kind of pathetic attempt, didn't get up. So we helped each other up. But I should have had like another three or four goes because I think I would have, it got way easier every time because it was so loose to start off with. Um, it got way better every time. So I started helping him up, but I'd left my bike kind of off the main line of the track. So then eventually after like we'd been pulling each other for five, well, I think it was about nine minutes. 
uh, everyone just Graham up. and Johnny caught up and then they because I'd left my bike kind of parked out the way and the, the, each time it got way better they kind of rode straight past where um, really yeah well the, no they, they rode past where my bike was and then I pulled money out at the top and uh, Went back down to my bike and he just about fucking passed out for five minutes while he was having water poured on his head and then eventually came Manny. back. And, yeah. And then and then came back to help me. But Graham and Graham and uh Johnny had done it I think it was Johnny, done it by them pretty much done it by themselves. Um so then yeah, I eventually got back up. No, Is that the same time you had a sip of petrol? No, that petrol was nineteen. Pe- nineteen was a bad year. I nineteen stu- same place you had a sip though, wasn't it? Yeah, same, <laughs> area, same, same section. <laughs> that was just after me and Johnny and Taddy had helped me, each other. three years ago now. That's what I mean. That was the last time we were there. And 19 was a bad, bad deal. Sipes crashed in front of us on the start. Well, you were coming back from a knee injury. No. Yeah. Also, also that. Sipes crashed in front of us on the start. And then there was another hill really early on. Knee injury or foot? The uh, foot. Well, foot, knee. No, I'm it was sh- knee that, that was injured. I'm sure that was your first ride back. No, I did Lagares. That was my first year. I didn't oh, miss. I didn't actually miss a race when I did my knee. I, I started riding just before Lagares and ended up racing them all. But oh, that's right. I had like no fitness because I'd had six months off. Sipes crashed in front of us on the start, and then there was another hill leaving the quarry really early on, which I just couldn't get up by myself. So I was like fiftieth leaving the quarry, which is not where you want to be. Bad day, and then I got quite angry at myself that day. I'd let myself let myself down. Mm. Um, yeah. Why don't you give a bit of a? Well, if you like watching content on stuff, um, if you know of a guy on YouTube called Zach Allsop, he's doing it for Red Bull. Isn't uh, he? Yeah, that's just come about. I think I got confirmed yesterday or the day before. Um, I think he's doing it for Red Bull's channel. So I'd imagine if you follow us, you probably follow them already anyway, and you're going to see it everywhere. But um, if you want an interesting watch, a lot of his YouTube videos are very good, very clever, and Big um, effort, a lot of effort goes into them. And uh, he actually done one sneaking into the MXGP VIP. Then no, it was Nations at Matley. Uh, mm. Yeah, it was brilliant. Um, but yeah, he does a lot of that kind of stuff. Just, just yeah, big, pretty big YouTuber. Does good, good videos. Um, he used to race motocross. Did you know that? Yeah. Did you know him from motocross? No, I've, Do you I've, know him from motocross. Yeah. I've known him just from the videos years ago, but I know he just done a bit in the cut of his mates race. Anyway, so he's. Going just as like to make like a video just to, or like in a just to I guess to portray the event and obviously with no preparation whatsoever. So I'm busy trying to organize some stuff to help him out. And he I think that'll be a good watch. That'll be a good crack, I reckon. Mm. Real, Ed, right? Ed's coming, he reckons. Hang on, yeah, potentially. Ed's coming now, missing my race. <laughs> Well, well, you can vlog by yourself now. We've just had that topic race. of conversation. Yeah, we're going to miss going so race. well so far, mate. We've, we've, we've been as a team at the British. Everyone, we're fucking on top at the minute. Oh, you're not happy about this? No. <laughs> His team actually tell me, Willie especially says, when you don't come, we don't perform. So can you come? <laughs> I perform better when Ed's there with the vlog. I just give it, it, it just doesn't want like a dosser on TV. Because if I keep dossing about in the vlog, people just go, useless, useless man. And then, so I just thought, it almost gives me motivation to do well. well vlog yourself then. We'll yeah, I will. I've yeah. already drafted Xcast. If yeah, we've got needed. Xcast to come, it'll be fine. I'd, I bet I'd Xcast like just like wanders around like a lost child at the British Rounds. He now, does. Yeah, he? I see him. At Bless him. He's, he's a bit brilliant. Yeah, he I like Xcast. I rate him a lot. He was doing um, no, his pictures and that at Canada Heights. Ling, he was his brother went step brother, I think. Um, not step brother, whatever. His missus brother. Um, <laughs> it might even be his own brother. Fuck knows, really. But he. Um, <laughs> He was there <laughs> with a kid. Um, oh, okay. And yeah, he was chatting, but he's good. He says Ed already teed it up if, we need, if need be. He's there. Oh, that's all right then. He does a good job. He does. Yeah, we'll be all right. If I do through. go to Billy's race and come back, the, be, the best be a 22 point lead or better. Mm. No, well, I'm generally. What's your lead at the minute? 22. Oh, that's oh, okay. I generally think I'm, I'm looking forward to it. For some reason, I look forward to the British so much. And the other races, I can't seem to fucking yeah, gather up the old motivation. We've noticed. <laughs> like, as soon as I finished the I last race. I fucking tuned into both of the races last weekend. And I'm like, I fucking can't wait for the next British. And then the next race comes, I'm just like, Phew. MX National in between. Yeah, not too worried about that one. It's just, obviously, I have to contract, but just, um, yeah, but I I just don't have that same motivation for that's it. That's hard because, uh, Lol, you nearly missed the start of your thing. It's just like you literally got to spend all day no, watching. No, just them. a bit different. I don't know why. I just. I G myself up for it and then I get myself in an area where I'm ready to race 
and I think I I need to do I perform better when I get myself in that zone. If I nowadays if I'm a little bit too relaxed, I just turn up, meh, walk about, nearly miss my race, ride around. Are you going to do nations? Um, don't know. That was another one. Um, who do you think will be the nations pick? Well, I've put myself in a good position to get picked at the minute. I would hope, but we'll see. I mean, it's we got nice riders, good riders. So whatever team if goes, they ask you, would good. you do it? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, will you pay, like say will you pay for me one, to come? I'm going to race next year, so uh, pay for you to come. Yeah, see, I'll see what the flights and that like. You pay for me to come. Yeah. Okay. Will the you same. make me work if I come? Yeah. No. We, <laughs> if I went, we'd have to vlog. I'll come. Like, I'll like take pictures. I like taking pictures. Is it clashing? Hmm. Uh, I haven't actually even looked. No, but I loved Red Bud before. I like that track. But it's um, like I said, we've got Max will be back, Dean will be back, Ben, um, Comrade. Oh, no, There's a few good oh, riders yeah, Max, out there. I forgot. I couldn't. Gilbert might even get a shout. Gil- if he's Gilbert, yes, yeah, Derry. There's a good selection of riders, but I'd like to think with me up there at the British Championship and winning, I've won a race every round that I'm in the. Uh, I performed, didn't I, at those races? I just I t- I turn it up a notch. Did Con- has Conrad had surgery on his collarbone? Yeah. See him yesterday, he was down there. Where was he? Walking about. What, in Wales? Yeah. I suppose from his, it's probably not that far there. It's no, probably a couple of hours. Two. Far for everything, I think. Is that two, what hours. Said, two hours. Two hours. Oh, was it? Oh, further than I'd expect. He was bored of sitting at home, though. Well, that's also true. I used to do a lot of driving when I had a broken leg, to be fair. I used to go to fat cat just to watch people on a Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> for my house. <laughs> Did I? It's bored, isn't it? I used to go just... Watch. I well, just yes, man. Just to go and watch J Lo ride round on a Wednesday. <laughs> just <for laughs> J Lo's happy at the minute with me. Did, did, did he sort him, sort him out his kicks? We had a bet, didn't we, at Ling? Did you hear about it? No. He got he got a podium in the first race, and if I said if he get a podium, well, Billy actually said it. He said if he gets a podium in the next race, we we square him up. So go on, let's have a bet. Ten pairs of kicks then. Oh, he got ten pairs. Yeah, it, it, they, that. He thought I was taking a piss, and then I got his email and dropped him a gift. It was card. meant to be on my vlog, yeah. but it was in st- I'd filmed it in slow motion, so there's no sound, so it made no sense. We done that yesterday. In. We filmed the kid doing his autograph, <laughs> signing his forehead, doing the moustache, doing an ending for the vlog. Like, subscribe, brilliant. I said, Ed, let's watch that back. He went, oh, no. I've uh, got the microphone that. plugged no, in the No, what I've done, thing. I've plugged the microphone in the headphone port because uh, I was so flustered. But yeah, fucked so. up. Oh, well, I'm pleased he's got his kecks. Yeah, he's happy. Winning. Oh. Um, should we have one last uh, question and then? Yeah, what's the time? We've done it at eight o'clock. Um, like goes quick, doesn't it? In these chairs, uh, it's good, isn't it? What else should we? T- what should? I feel, oh God! What? Um, what is about to ask people what we should do on a podcast in future? But I guess the tell with that one. Th- oh. Ah, fuck my phone smashed Someone asked us once How do they um, Ask a question on a podcast Because I guess They don't have Instagram Or they're not following much On Instagram So Just Put a comment on Either the YouTube video Or any post Or send a message Of either comment on the YouTube You need to be a, a YouTuber so, Yeah the main, I can't, But some, An older guy I, I can't I Might actually not even just be old Instagram. Someone asked us, yeah, but obviously you need to be quite on the ball, don't you? Like, how when did you put the story on to ask questions? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Well, That's normally a, I would be a lot more advanced a but, day, but you mm, a day maximum, or like, yeah, but you, uh, now I realize you can go back through your archive, yeah, yeah. So, uh, how have you figured out what the you archive t- is? You taught me that, uh, but either way, um, bill. here's a question a then bill. That, that always gets asked around this time, and I bet you can guess what it is. This time, hmm. what I mean, no, this time of year, time. this time of year, uh, you got asked it a million times last year, like non stop. That was the only question they asked you, f- just specifically for me. Well, it's, it's for both of you. I'll just tell you because this is <laughs> dragging on a bit. Yeah. Are you racing Western? Oh, yeah, I don't <laughs> actually know. I'd, I'd do d- it this year, I think. Now my I shoulder's feeling a bit uh, better. I fucking tear around I didn't that see place. Gareth at, the, when, at Ling when I went. Did anyone see Gareth at Ling that weekend? Well, he was dodging you because he didn't want to pay that money. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Um, I, I was hoping it would come up in conversation because I did. He did actually... Get, I reckon you can get big money this year. Yeah, I'm, I'm valuable these <laughs> days, aren't I? I am valuable. He I didn't have that same value back then as now. It was three years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, nineteen was last. When year. you when you're yeah, negotiating your, your deal, more. tell him we come as a package, all three of us. Yeah, you well, two I, go well, and I'll make a video. 
I bring the man name now and the podcast and the, the and the vlog. Uh, we did a vlog. F- that was one of the original vlogs. Have you ever, have you watched that vlog before? Yeah. No. Have you, you haven't, have you? Uh, no, I think I have. Yeah, that, you go up and down the beach. That was an iPhone vlog. Was it? How many views did that have? It's got a lot, it's, actually. It's got a lot, actually. Yeah, I know. It's I got know like 60,000 or something. Yeah. It's gone good. It, it's a creeper. Um, yeah, that was... No, a, I would do Western issue, I think. Uh... That'd be a good race. It is the same weekend. I know it clashes with another event, which isn't part of the championship, so I don't have to do either of them. So it will go to the highest bidder, I'd imagine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Um, yeah. I think I'm not going to answer that question. I've got a good I would way. like to because it is such a good race. I've got a good way that they can make sure that you're there. How was that? Go to the British Motocross and support the British Motocross. Pay for your entry ticket so <laughs> Gareth gets some money in his pocket so he can pay for both of these two to go. I think you'd quite enjoy it, to be fair. You wouldn't enjoy I'd being a fair wet. Bit of money to go. I think. You wouldn't enjoy being wet, but I think you'd enjoy just, just the carnage of it because you've never really experienced anything before. Like, it's Yeah, but I like to be able to pick my... I, I think I can... But when I race, not, I can not, look in front and move about the yeah, track quite well. So It's not sand, sandy to do that, though. It's quite like... Slot slot cross in a lot. Well, actually, eighteen was very rutty, and you just had to follow you up. Whereas nineteen was actually a lot more sand on it, and more rollers and and more fresh sand. So, yeah. Um, I think I could. I think I could love it, or I could really get over it in one like really. Yeah, quickly. that's very good point. I can see you coming in after one. I could see that me nah, going in and going, "This is amazing," and then all of us, and then depending on how it rutted and the track developed. Also, just really thinking, why the fuck am I here? Yeah, but you'd have to get your head in the game and just go, it's, it's a bit bent. Yeah, but it just depends how I feel <laughs> on a bike because I don't like manhandling my bike around the track. I don't like getting stuck. I don't like lifting it out of holes. I don't want to get in a rut stuck and lift it out. I just want to ride my yeah, bike. Yeah, you, 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 that can happen as well. As Have you ever been to watch? No. I've never been on holiday there, nothing. <laughs> 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 it's not a very good place to go and hold that. Oh, okay. Drove oh. past it on my way down to Devon. <clears throat> it's yeah. Well, we, that's that's a, a potential. Well, oh, I don't know, but the answer to your question is I don't know. But if you are thinking about going to do it, I highly recommend it because it's a fucking great event, great race. Yeah. Um. Last night on the way home, you you spoke about doing super enduro again. Mm. You fancy in a bit, are you? Yeah. He's all up for it. If there's if there's a British race, if there's a British round at the end of next. Is it beginning of next year or the end beginning. of next year? Oh, that's a little bit of a curveball, but we'll see. Depending on everything and where I'm at and what I'm doing. Hey, what are you doing next year? Do you know what you're doing next year? No, no idea. Are you contracted? <laughs> No, no contract, no nothing. Oh, you're not a free agent. I may do some negotiating for you. I quite like a good old, um, good old standoff. No, I'm, I'm happy where I'm at, but um, we'll see. If it something, I, if I'd done it, I'd like to put a little bit of preparation in it so I can get round nicely. I just think if I can learn a little, I said to Ed, if I could learn a little bit, I would like to be able to race around it. Like because I think in between sections I could go quite good, but I need to be able to obviously mm. do the section. The, so, uh, so my answer to that was. The best thing to do bike, is ride a trials bike to get the technique down. Yeah, trials bike. I think and the he thing said, Fuck you that. would struggle the most with the rock sections. What? No, I think I struggled the most with the wheeling into stuff. Mm, no, because that's just that wheeling a sharp braking bump or something. Like that, if I think to like Germany, just because Ed was there, I think you'd do the whole track apart from the rock section. What are you shaking? Oh, that. <laughs> no, there's no way you'd go over that spine. I don't know. No, no fucking chance. Well, I'll be in the novice class. I'm not going to be in his class anyway. Did they do? The they spine? went over the spine. They Everyone went the same over. track. It's like a. You, you <laughs> I, would I put, think I the would problem put. is, I've, if I can get round the track, I can get round it fast. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, I either, I either can do it or I can't do it. It's pretty. You're I'm fucking like, overconfident here. No, that's what I mean. No, I'm not saying like I either can do it. It's like anything, like that little stupid one we was riding around. I know it's nothing, but if I can do the obstacles. I can do them quite like the easier way for me to do it is to do it fast because I've got no yeah. But then like skill. on rock the rock sections and the hard parts where you're kind of oh, yeah. not getting stuck, but you're, you're yeah you're, the, the you're rocks are fine hard, but you're having to to slowly pick a line. I, I think that philosophy doesn't quite work. that no, philosophy yeah, rocks, would work yeah. if it was a track made up of purely logs and pipes. Yeah, okay, yeah, I forgot about the log the rocks, <laughs> but I think it's still a good idea. It would. 
it would be uh, the people would enjoy it. I'd enjoy uh, it. What I would go as far as saying is you'd, <clears throat> you'd enjoy Western more than you would enjoy that. You reckon? 100%. Mm. No, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Either. Depends on Western. Western, I track. feel like if you were doing well, you'd enjoy it way more as well. Like if you, imagine I can't you get stuck and you go from you go from being in the lead to fucking tenth, and then no, you're out because you're doing the same thing. Whether you're in the lead or tenth, it's not like you're riding your uh, own race. You're still riding through lepers. If you're in tenth in a motocross race, getting roosted, there's no different. You it's need a, a big difference to being in first. Where at Western, if you're first or tenth, you're riding the same race. You need a bike. Numbers. They'd have to build you a bike with an engine. Yeah, but they box. build a uh, Honda. Build me or can build a bike. Would well, they get you one? Uh, no, not. They wouldn't make it that good. But I just fucking wreck one. No, but you need a. Fu- you need. Su- you are. Uh, you don't. Well, for super enduro. No, nah, for Western. Western no, they have it. a Western setup. They've done it before. With a few riders, I think Graham done yeah, it. Yeah, they all ex- else, they're all their they? bikes broke. Yeah, up, yeah all that's how made. I got on the podium that year. All the nah, to be fair, I think I was actually I beating think, all them. And, I it? think you'd fry a clutch. Uh, no, because I'm sensible. In a race like that, I know how to manage a bike as well. Fucking hell. Do you? Yeah, fuck me. If you don't want to burn a clutch out, you go easy on it. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, okay. let's wrap her up then. Wrap her up. No, well, it's good. To it's, be back. it's been nice, nice to be to back. Sit on the sofa. We'll, do, we'll get another one done next week before I go off to Ellsberg. Yeah. yeah, next week I've got. We a keep chill saying break. we're going to get Nathan Watson. Can oh, we, let's try and get him can, next week. Can we try and tee that up? Yeah, that he's a good guest. Uh, mm. Nathan's before I back head off here because because I want to ride with him this weekend. Um, yeah, that would be good actually because I don't think then after next week I'll probably be away for a while again. So yeah, but uh, that's another thing as well. I've got you a. Sound recorder. We have that now. Yeah, we've got that and a mic, and you've now got a Sony camera that films, so you you can film your own. I might be come my own podcast and talk about like deep shit, you know, like all podcasters just tell to tell you how to live your life and stuff, don't they? You'll like, be able to do race. You need to, you need to do uh, really. You got all your own stuff. I, I bought him. Sounds like I bought him a little personal kit. Fucking hell! So that when we well, call this him is in, my kit technically. Yeah, this is your kit. Yeah, no, this is Stan's kit. <laughs> he's actually stands good. Uh, well, maybe we get. Well, oh, oh, we'll get, try and get Nathan. But if Nathan's not available, we will get Stan for next week. Well, so okay. next no, podcast, Nathan. Nathan we'll have, we need Nathan. Okay, all right. He'll no, be about I'll tell when Stan he, that Tommy doesn't listening. want. Him to I come quite back like week. Nathan because you can talk about motocross and thingy. So it's like and nations because he's rode the nations. Uh, yeah, he's done everything. Nathan, to be fair to him, he's probably the most all-rounded motocross uh, individual in the UK. Right, uh, sorry there's been a massive break, we'll try and do better. Well, we haven't got a, sp- a sponsor either, so there's not really a need to do productivity. If someone wants to fucking chip in a bit and... Yeah, we'd step stu- up the game. We, we would, like, obviously, oh, step put towards the studio. Yeah, mm. well... Where's our Red Bull fridge that we was promised? Uh, I'll get a monster one. No, it's already the Red Bulls. I know yeah, they, he, asked, he asked for the address yesterday we and I still haven't answered them. And now I've smashed paid for and that, but we can get a fridge. Don't worry, we'll... Uh, We'll get a Red Bull one. There's going to be a nice coffee table here as well, so there's perfect key places for, the, for product placement. Product placement. If anyone's got any product that one's placed there. But these, these chairs are product placement. I really like this chair. Comfy, aren't they? <clears throat> mm. Very good. they will be nice when the coffee table's here. Yeah, we've got a footrest. Be good. Right. But for sure enough, we're outfits as well. I might have to start coming with some decent outfits now. The full outfit's going to be on camera. Tommy, yeah, do, you do, do you want to do a twirl? You're happy with your happy with your shoes. You've got some new I've shoes. I've got new shoes today. I bought these at the shop. Quite like them, yeah. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Drop a comment on the YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. And uh, see you in a bit. See you later. <laughs> That's twice you've done that now. Fucking stop. Yeah.